This is what we live for. This is what we work hard for. Okay, we ain't giving it up. We are not freaking giving this up. You gotta freaking fight. You gotta fight. Welcome back to the boot tragedies, man. Finally, finally, finally. A uh, couple things. I finally got a Pell's intro. Finally did that. Uh, knocked that off the, the list to do. Uh, used the Willie Green speech plus the uh, playoff, you know, Bert uh, right there, celebration. So, knocked that off the list. And, man, 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 man. Let's talk about the game last night. Pelicans versus Suns. Pelicans win 125-114. Absolute great game by the Pels. Obviously, Devin Booker going out. Help the Pels. I'm just not. It's no ifs, ands, buts about it. It definitely helped. Him going out, um, only playing 25 minutes. Him being absolutely on fire. Had already had 31 points, uh, you know, at the half. Uh, him being injured definitely helped the Pelicans. But you still have to play the game. Injuries are part of the game. Um, and you just, it is what it is. So, because obviously we have Zion out. So, you know, injury excuse. I'm not hearing it. Man, Brandon Ingram. Absolute hell of a game, best playoff performance from him. Only a second game, obviously, but man, 37 points, 11 rebounds, nine assists, one steal, one block, a plus 18 while he's on the court. Absolutely fantastic. Eight for eight from the free throw line, three for three from the three point line. He's the best player on this team right now, man. It's not even close. He's leading this team with his play. After last game, I said he has to be more aggressive on the offensive end. It's no way in, in hell that, you know, Valanchunas and C.J. McCollum and these other guys should be having the same amount of shot attempts as him or even more shot attempts than him. He needs the ball in his hand. That's when the Pels are dangerous. Also, Herb Jones, bounce back game, man. 14 points, uh, 5 for 8 from field, 2 for 3 from 3-point line. Absolutely insane. Valanchunas, 10 and 13. Um, solid game from him. Jackson Hayes with a bounce back game from him. I was I was saying we should bench him for Trey Murphy, uh, which I still think is a possibility. But he played well, nine points, three rebounds, four for seven from field. C.J. McCollum didn't shoot the ball, you know, from mid range as well. But he shot six for ten from the three point line, eight rebounds, nine assists. Great play from him as well. Plus eleven while he's on the court. Larry Nance Jr. has been our best player off the bench in this series. Uh, he's been great. Uh, Jose Alvarado, absolutely great. Them Devontae Graham minutes have been slowly, 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 slowly chipping away. He only played seven minutes, thank the Lord. Uh, and Trey Murphy, man. Trey Murphy, absolutely great game. Three steals, three threes, nine points. Man, the Pelicans shot 80% from the free throw line, 17 from 30 from the three-point line. It's going to be hard to beat a team that shoots 56, 57% from the free throw line. We shot 55% from the field. Just an absolute all-around Great, great game, man. Uh, defensively, we struggled. We struggled early. Uh, we limited CP3, which I liked. Uh, but Devin Booker was going crazy, man. Didn't matter who he threw on him. He was making shots. He's just one of those players, man. When he gets hot, he just gets hot. But he went out with an injury trying to chase down block. Um... With his hamstring, don't know how long he's going to be out for. Not going to speculate, but those hamstrings can be tricky. If you saw uh, Chris Paul last year with a hamstring injury, he was never the same. Didn't come back in the playoffs. They ended up losing. But, man, to get that to 1-1 one one in Phoenix, the best team in the league, uh, best home record in the league, that was super, super big uh, for the Pels. The old saying goes, the series doesn't start until the road team wins. Now the road team has won. The Pelicans now have the whole court at their home. They have two home games, man. I'm sure the the arena's going to be rocking in New Orleans. Uh, I might even go down there for a game. But gotta hold. You gotta hold home court, man. If you can hold home court and go back three one, I know it's getting a little ahead of myself. You control the series, but game three is super, super important, man. You cannot give the game back that you just stole uh, from from Phoenix. So winning game three is going to be super, super important, man. Uh, if they can do that, they control this series, and then who knows what can happen after that. But we're going to play it slow, one game at a time, one day at a time, and we'll, we'll just see what happens, how this unfolds, man. Uh, obviously, I'm sure y'all saw the clips uh, floating around, man. Zion, he's been clear for like four on four, five on five. This type of activity, not full speed. They look like they were going 60% out there, but that's a good sign, man. If we can extend this series, maybe, you know, extend to the next round of playoffs, I'm sure he'll be back. Uh, the Pels don't want to play him, obviously. He's basically on the Ben Simmons route right now, man. Uh, meaning the fans want to see him, and he's just hurt, or he's just coming back from being hurt. He's not able to play right now, but, I mean, the Nets could use Ben Simmons, and the Pels can definitely use uh, Zion Williamson. Uh, that win... 
that win was good, though, man. It, it kind of, you know, don't want to rush Zion back out there if he's not healthy enough. I know he wants to play. He's out there dunking and he's out there playing around and stuff. So, hey, man, maybe he'll come back, maybe not. But you got to give credit to the guys that are on the court. Brandon Ingram, C.J. McCollum, Jackson Hayes, Val, Herb, everybody, man, that played, they're playing well. But if you just... If you can just insert Zion and give you 10 minutes off the bench, if he could just take 10 Devontae Graham minutes, this team becomes so much more dangerous. Uh, we'll see where he's headed, but he's headed in the right direction, man. I think he just needs to slim down a little bit, get in some um, better shape, and hopefully he can give us 10 to 15 minutes uh, in the next couple of games. If not, so be it. Obviously, we've shown we're, we're capable enough to beat this team uh, without him. So we'll see what happens, man. But super, super big win for the Pelicans. The series is now tied 1-1, one one, and it moves back to New Orleans. We'll see what happens uh, in these home games. Let me know what y'all think about the game below in the comments, man. But as always, this is the Boot Tragedies, and I'm out.